Hey, Frank, you've spoken before about how it can be tricky to get a team twice in a row and it's, you know, to play to match the level of intensity. But what did you see in that first quarter and the way that you came out for a second straight game against Houston? Yeah, well, we played some brilliant basketball, you know, uh, in stretches of both of the both of the, the last two games, uh, but in particular the first quarter tonight, really the first half tonight. You know, I thought we had a, a great uh, offensive motor, uh, running the floor, crashing the boards, uh, moving the basketball, good half court pace, and um, you know our defense was uh, was really tight, you know, with our execution and containment and, and all those types of things. So. Um, you know, like I said, we, we know it's harder to, to, to beat a team a second time in a row. And uh, we came out with that sense of urgency to just start the game. I don't know how much you saw of LeBron's no-look three and turn around. He said that uh, Dennis Schroeder said you're not going to make it. And you had to turn around and look at the guys and secure the bets. Uh, and obviously you saw how the guys reacted. Just want to get your thoughts on that and as it's an extension of the chemistry on this team. Yeah, that's uh, one of our most important goals is to, to build that chemistry. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't exactly sure what happened on that play. I saw the bench erupt, um, but now, now I know. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's just, just a positive sign, you know, for this year's group. Every, every, every year, uh, your team has to reestablish its chemistry, whether there's changes to the roster or not. And, um, you know, this is a priority of ours, you know, to, to try to build that, that chemistry every time we're together. So, so you didn't see the you didn't see the shot, or you just was hard to see. I saw the shot. I thought it was a, an ordinary corner three. You're saying okay. it was a no look. Is that what happened? Oh yeah. So well, he shot it, and then he immediately turned around while it was about half, kind of like a Seth Curry three. Okay. And he turned I, around and looked at Dennis. Yeah. So he didn't catch the. I understand. You'll be able to find the video. <laughs> well, I did. I did call my bench out for you know for bringing better energy uh, to start this trip. And last game it was great. Tonight was great as well. Yeah. So you get credit for that shot, Frank, essentially. Of course. Every time you win, the coach gets all the credit. Don't you guys know this yet? That's how, well, we give the credit, so you're right. Uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you a, a little bit about the defensive activity tonight. Um, obviously, the blocks and the steals are, are, are measured. Deflections are a number you guys keep internally. It seemed like you guys were on every pass tonight. I'm, I'm sure defensively, that made you pretty happy. Yeah, well, it's, it's indicative of A, containment, and B, uh, executing our, our coverages the right way. When we execute our coverages and we can handle the, you know, the, the pick and roll with, uh, with two guys the best of our, of our ability, that, that allows us to, uh, to sort of stay home and, and recover uh, back to the shooters. And I thought tonight was probably our best of, of the year uh, in terms of uh, uh, recognizing those early reads and, uh, and getting those recovery bit plays back to the shooters. So. Um, but it starts with uh, you know the two guys on the ball in the pick and roll, and it starts with the one-on-one -on -one containment uh, that allowed us to stay home. Yeah, so cool. uh, I know you guys are having fun tonight, but sort of the other side of this is that you guys have now won six straight games against Rockets. Obviously, some change on that team. But what, what's it like to have sort of a mental grip over a team like that and one of the best scorers in the league? Well, it's, it's early on, you know, that team can, can come around. They got a lot of firepower over there. Uh, I have a great amount of respect for their coach. And, you know, I think they're going to, they're going to right the ship. Um, you know, just fortunate that we, we were able to prevail in the playoff series and, um, you know, feel good about how we played in these two games. But, but just um, as a follow up, I mean, you guys took so much time and, and, and in last year in the playoffs that kind of make a plan against James Harden. Now it just seems kind of routine to, to be able to guard him and his teams. I mean, do, do you see a lot of growth there from your guys? You know, I would, I, I actually think it's it's really different what happened in the playoffs versus uh, what we did in these two games. We, we stayed in base coverage for the most part uh, in, in these two games. And, um, you know, I think they're just, they got a lot of new teammates and, and they're just trying to feel each other out and learn each other. Um, but what, what we do have this year is we, we have a lot of guys on the perimeter that can just flat out guard and, and you can play more single coverage in, in those types of uh, situations and um, you know credit our guys for, for really manning up one on one and uh, you know minimizing how much we have to double team and bring help. More of this. Right, even tonight we saw LeBron uh, attempt a, a logo three the other night against Chicago. We see him make it, made a bunch in the bubble. Uh, the turnaround three, 
How much leeway is there uh, for, I guess, non-textbook basketball for someone with the abilities of LeBron when you're coaching him? Well, we're encouraging him to beat defenses over the top. You know, it's uh, there's multiple reasons for that. A, he's, he's probably the best shooter on our team. And B, they, they play him uh, soft. They run under screens on him. And, you know, if, if you're not going to beat him over the top and punish the defense or take what the defense gives you, um, you're letting them off the hook. And, uh, you know, so we're encouraging that. You know, in terms of the, the four-point range shots that he takes, he's got a green light to take those because he makes them, you know. And, um, you know, obviously uh, – you know, we want him touching the paint as much as possible, but you have to take what the defense gives you. And, um, you know, we shoot nose at a high clip. Uh, he's got the green light. Melissa? Hey, Frank. LeBron was talking about how you guys are able to maintain such great chemistry on the road, despite not being able to go out to dinner and do the types of things that you guys normally do. How have the players been able to do that, and what does that look like on the road now? I'm not sure. You know, I leave them alone on the road. <laughs> I know that uh, we just have a good group of guys. So, you know, w whether we're able to do dinners like we did last year uh, or it's just, you know, time on the plane, time on the bus, time at practice and, and film sessions, um, you know, we got a good group of guys that are, uh, you know, have the mindset to, to learn each other, get to know each other and, and build that chemistry. Um, we'll take yours on and then a quick follow-up from there. you on. Hey Frank, uh, is there an update on Wes and his potential availability for tomorrow? Yeah, he's out tomorrow. Um, you know, we just uh, forget they did do an MRI. Uh, there's nothing major there, uh, just uh, just a little bit of swelling. So they just wanted to to take these two games, have him be off, and then we'll reevaluate on Thursday. Yeah. Frank, um, what's the plan tomorrow for the Ronnie Navy and the back-to-back? -back? Is the plan for both them to play? Well, AD uh, jammed his toe uh, tonight, uh, so he will be listed as questionable. X-rays were negative, um, you know, so no major concern there. But um, you know, he'll he'll be listed as questionable. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. And uh, the plan right now is for LeBron to play. You know, our guys want to play these back-to-backs. Um, you know, unless there's a reason not to from an injury standpoint. And uh, you know, so the plan right now is for both of them to play if they're available.